Hi everyone, Tom Taylor here for Newegg TV, and today is launch day for NVIDIA, and this is the EVGA GeForce GTX 950. The people, yes, you have spoken and you want benchmarks, and that's what you're gonna get. So, let's hop right into it and unbox this thing. Inside the box, you'll find the graphics card user guide, DVI to VGA, 8-pin power connector, a case badge, a neat little poster, and of course the card itself. Now that we have this thing out of the box, what is the GTX 950? Well, it's the successor to the GTX 750, which is huge for NVIDIA because they're looking to be the best in their range when it comes to that never-ending battle versus AMD. Now this card is using the GM206-250 core, which is the toned down version of the GM206-300 found in the GTX 960s. The GTX 950 contains 768 keto cores, 48 TMUs, and 32 ROPs. The core clock speed is 1150 to 1250 MHz, and boost clock is 1350 to 1450 MHz. Memory wise, this model has 2GB of GDDR5 RAM that operates along 128-bit bus. The memory clock is between 6600 MHz and 6750 MHz. Talking power, it features a 90 watt TDP and an 8 pin power connector. Taking a look at the design, starting with the dual fans, these are swept fan blades. They're designed to run 26% cooler, 36% quieter, have four times the fan lifespan, and 250% lower fan power. Then what? I don't know, but sure sounds good to me. Flipping the card over on its side, you can see the heat sink with the aluminum fins, copper heat pipes, and your eight pin power connector. For the win is always a neat touch. Your back plate matches the rest of the card. Obviously, this thing wants to stay as cool as possible. Moving to the other side, you can see this supports PCI Express 3.0. And for those wondering, yes, DirectX 12 and G-Sync are supported as well. Last but not least, we take a look at the I.O. We have Dual Link DVI, HDMI, and three DisplayPort connectors. All right, so there's your tour. Now that we're all familiar with the card, let's move into the benchmarks. After looking at the benchmark results, you can see exactly who NVIDIA and EVGA were targeting with this card. Now you won't be pushing 4K, but when it comes to 1080, you're going to be sitting pretty. If you enjoy playing MOBAs like me, this could be the card for you. Be sure to let us know what you want to see benchmarked down the road. Battlefield 4, maybe Bioshock, maybe something new. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to comment and let us know what you thought about the benchmark. Like and subscribe. I'm Tom Taylor for Newegg TV. We'll see you next time.